Hello there, Dr Rob here with a bit of musical glass science for you. All thanks to Inspiring Australia Queensland who proudly present the Science Week Queensland program Glass More Than Meets the Eye. Now you probably don't think of glass as being particularly musical. I mean, there aren't many glass musical instruments, are there? Well, in fact there is. There's something called a glass harmonica and it sounds a little bit like this. Hmm. Cool, huh? Anyway, a little bit more on the glass harmonica and how it makes that sound later on. But let's start with something much simpler. Aha! Well, here's a glass bottle. Excellent. And some water and a funnel. I'm sure we'll work out why later on. A spoon. Uh, huh. Well, it makes a noise. I wouldn't exactly say it was musical, but it definitely makes a noise. So, how is it making that note? Well, when I tap the bottle, it vibrates the glass and those vibrations then travel through the air to my ears or to the microphone and then to you. And we can hear that note. What if we add more bottles? Ah, excellent. Five bottles. Let's see how that sounds. Still not much of a musical instrument because of course they all sound exactly the same. So we need to change the way in which the glass is vibrating. We're going to do that by adding a little bit of water. Let's uh, add some water to this one. And let's see how that changes the sound. What do you think it's going to do? Let's go empty one. Oh, it definitely changes the tone. In fact, it makes the pitch lower. And that's because the water is causing the vibrations of the glass to change and the frequency or the note becomes lower. Hmm, I'll add a bit more water to all of them and see what effect that has. Oh, okay, we've got different amounts of water in the bottles now. It sort of gradually gets more full. So let's see if as predicted, we sort of get some different notes now. Yeah. It definitely changes. I'm not sure it's very tuned up yet, but you can definitely hear different frequencies or different pitches as the bottles get filled up. It gets lower and lower and lower. Now there's actually another way to make sound with this and that's like this. When you blow across the top. So that's the empty one and that's the really full one. Okay. Now remember, hi, low. But when you blow across the top, high and low. It, it sort of goes in reverse. So what's going on? Well, when you add the water to it, it causes the vibrations to sort of be slower and slower because it's the glass vibrating. But when you blow into it, it's the air vibrating, just like in a wind instrument. And when you've got a large air chamber, you get a low note. And when you've got a small air chamber, you get a high note, just like in the orchestra where the tubers make the low notes and the flutes make the high notes. Now, this is hardly a musical instrument just yet, but I think if I get the bottles with the right amount of water in them, and I use a little handy tuning app on my phone that measures the frequency of the sound or the note coming out, I should be able to get these tuned roughly to one note each. It's going to take a little bit of trial and error though. I think that's pretty good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a glass xylophone, I guess. Then I'll see if we can play a tune. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're too kind. Too kind, all of you. Right, so I'm not very musical and if you've got perfect pitch, that probably didn't sound perfect, but it was as close as I could make it by listening and using my tuning app. Now, this is a glass xylophone and I did promise you a glass harmonica, or at least how one worked. We mentioned it earlier. Remember it sounded like this? That weird eerie noise. Well, it's pretty hard to make your own, but you can 
recreate the sound. Uh, let me just, uh huh. You'll need one of these. Let's move these up like Oh, move those bottles out of the way. All you need is a long stem glass, like a wine glass, with a little bit of water in it. And then all you need to do is wet your finger like so. Pretty amazing, huh? Well, why is it making noise to start with? Well, it's making noise because, what do you think's vibrating? The glass. Absolutely. The little fine glass around the edge here is vibrating because when you run your finger around the edge and if it's a little bit wet, it means it slips a bit and it sticks a bit and it slips a bit and it sticks a bit and that causes it to vibrate and make that really nice noise. Now the glass harmonica that I mentioned is basically built around this same concept. It's essentially a stack of goblets all in a row of different sizes and when the player puts their finger on the edge of the goblet and as it spins around it makes those singing noises which is kind of cool and you can experiment with this one as well. You could try different size wine glasses, you could try different amounts of water in there and see if you can make different nice singing notes with them as well. So there's actually a couple of different glass instruments that you can make or with lots of vibrations and lovely noises, or maybe not so lovely in the case of my xylophone. I'm gonna go back to the singing glass because quite frankly, I think it's lovely.